May the 29th, 2021. Guys, you're looking at the latest coronal mass ejection that's left the same sunspot we've been watching as it leaves the surface of the sun. Now, you, the Earth is in the yellow dot, and here comes Mercury. We're about to get alignment here. But the, this is not a direct Earth-facing CME because the sunspot is rotating around the right side of the sun. But it is going to give us a glancing blow, and it's going to happen around May 31st, about uh, 1 o'clock in the morning, central daylight time. It's saying here, on June the 1st at uh, 0600, take back five hours there, and then throw in your window that uh, is four to five hours in either direction because of the distance. But you're going to start seeing an increase in solar wind, and you guys that have the the problems with this, and we all experience in them in one way or the other, um, whether it's vertigo or dizziness, headaches, whatever it is, fibromyalgia, just pay, be aware of what we're going to be dealing with here. Now, again, it's not going to be directly Earth-facing, just that glancing blow. Uh, June 1st, 0600 hours UTC time. That's about 1 a.m. Uh, in you know on May 31st in the morning. Now, this is a satellite we don't get to see a lot of, Stereo A, and it shows an impressive-looking CME leaving the sun. We'll look at it in motion from Lasco. It says, following a long-duration eruption around AR 2824 this evening. That's a sunspot. And long duration means that it takes it a while and the energy is spread out over uh, over time as it comes towards your planet. Proton 10 mega electron volt integral flux at about 10 PFU expected. Now you think that's powerful, but guys, uh, CERN is dealing with not mega electron volts, but TEV. Okay, tetra electron volts. So when you see the, those spiking, um, Consider how much more powerful some of the energy in CERN is in, during the collisions. But notice how long that slope takes right there. That's a slow duration flare, and so it's going to take it that long to pass by our planet. Now, looking at it from an Earth facing perspective, this is Lasco C3, and you can see as we get up to there's the 26th on the shot coming the 27th, 28th coming up. And by the way, guys, uh, the 26th, when that last coronal mass ejection came across, <clears throat> uh, one of the volcanoes up in the Lucian Islands almost immediately erupted. We'll take a look at that. Lasco C2 coming up to the right, 28th, coming into almost the 29th, right there. Powerful blow. It's a good thing that one wasn't directly Earth-facing. We would see more problems with it, but there will be some problems with just the skirting blow check it out again coming up right there that's a lot of energy this occult disc that you see in the red center here is like you blocking your hand blocking the sun with your hand so you can see and uh that but the white circle within there is actually the size of the sun so that was a very large explosion now talking about the long duration part of this flare you can see it easily here you're going to have the flare come up, then the hotter flare runs all the way across the top right corner of the sun. And, you know, that, that's a huge area. Once that happens, you start seeing the lines of force start to light up as they transfer energy back and forth. Watch this. And this is an Earth-facing satellite, too, and that's why I'm saying this is kind of to the right of that. And that's why we're not going to get a direct blow, just that glancing blow. But the um, flare happens. Then you see the hydro flare spread across the surface and the glowing effect inside these rings. There's two sunspots there, by the way. Now, there's another one in the center. It's a lot smaller than these. We'll keep an eye on it. But our solar winds have been elevated since the first CME came across on the 26th, right here. This is a seven-day forecast. And we hit that wall of where the uh, solar wind speed elevated. You can see it here, still ele elevated. Your 300, 320 is your average, where it's at about right there. And uh, again, on May 26, when we saw this spike, is when the Aleutian volcano um, erupted. Now, again, this thing could stay elevated throughout the period with this upcoming CME. We may have a day to where we see it drop before the second section of that comes through, but it's called the Great Sitkin Volcano in the Aleutian Islands. The article was done on the 27th, but the explosion was the 26th. It says after the latest explosive, 
eruption at the volcano yesterday. A, si a seismic activity has decreased gradually, although volcanic unrest continues, as reported locally, uh, I mean the local observatory, the Alaska Volcanic Observatory. And this is going back to the 26th, you notice at the top there. And uh, the thing got very high into the clouds, I think it was around 40,000 feet. A new short-lived one and two minutes explosion eruption started at the volcano at 2104 local time or 504 UTC time, and the activity is still continuing uh, at, at the time of this update. And I think it's coming down now, but guys, you're either going to have both uh, volcanic eruptions and seismic movement uh, with your tectonic plates or one or the other. And we've been seeing a lot of tectonic plate movement over the last month and uh, a lot of volcanoes erupting. And it's always a classic sign of a uh, grand solar minimum because your shields are weak and that energy from the sun feeds into the core of our planet via the magnetic lines of force. And you start seeing these explosions, but in grand solar minimum, they're worse because our shields are weak and um, that lets this happen. And the way they know this over the past history of the ice, um, of the cooling periods of water minimum and the other ones, they've drilled down in the Arctic ice and they can date it kind of not like tree rings, but with the layers and they picking up during these water minimums in that ice is embedded a lot of volcanic ash. So one goes hand in hand with the other. In other words, you start getting a lot of ash in the air, you're reflecting the sunlight back up, and the cool period gets cooler. But right now, again, watch uh, for the upcoming CME. This thing is about to turn away from our planet. A couple of weeks, we'll see if it's still there. But guys, we're watching it. You watch it. Oh, by the way, touch the button below and subscribe to our channel. I would appreciate it a lot. Heads up. Be safe.